there's a couple of really interesting models out there that we can use to get a sense of this. And I think that they, to me, they all point in the same direction. And that direction is that there's a much bigger number of people that have already been exposed, that the asymptomatic rates are very high, and that a lot of people who get exposed don't even get sick, don't even harbor the virus, don't even show positives. And they make the, what we call the denominator, right? The, the denominator, the, the capital D denominator everyone's talking about right now in the calculation of the case fatality rate, potentially much larger. So there's two ships we've looked at. The Diamond Princess is this cruise line. Did you hear about this? Mm -hmm. And the USS like, Theodore Roosevelt. Didn't the Diamond Princess pull into Oakland? It might have. I think my dad was getting, he flew back from India. He did a month uh, satsang with Muji. Super okay. dope. But yeah, okay. he, all this shit was unfolding while he was gone you know, dipping into bliss and, and awareness and enlightenment. And then he comes back, he flew into Oakland and they had heard all everything coming through, but yeah. So the Diamond Princess was about 3,500 people. And who goes on cruise ships? We can look at the average age. It's much higher of people on cruise ships. There's young people there, but a lot of times it's skewed for people who are a little bit older, potentially a little bit less metabolically healthy. <laughs> okay. That is the gentlest yeah. way I have ever heard that stated. We try, we try, right? <laughs> but I mean, if you've ever, I've never been on a cruise, but if you see pictures of people on cruises, right? They're not exactly, unless it's a cruise of like Iron Man participants or your tribe, right? It's not the most healthy people you've ever seen. So it's just, you know, we're talking in terms of numbers here and trying to get some data to give us some way forward because we have to get a way forward. And you got to think like a diamond princess is, is it like a grocery store, but like even more packed? Talk about a lot of foot traffic. 3,500 people on a ship that shares a ventilation system, right? They're below decks. It's not like an airplane, but it's kind of close. It's a lot better than in Whole Foods in terms of spreading a virus. I haven't heard any virologists or epidemiologists or infectious disease specialists say this, but I just can't imagine that the vast majority of people on the Diamond Princess did not get exposed, come into contact with coronavirus. That is, get SARS-CoV-2 on their hand, touch their face, get the virus in their posterior pharynx in their throat and have the virus inside of them, right? How could you possibly be on a ship where there's an outbreak and not see the virus when you're sharing the same overhead ventilation system, when you're below decks, when everyone is walking around the ship, and this is before everything explodes, right? So they're not sanitizing everything like crazy. They can't possibly clean every restroom handle. They can't possibly clean every doorknob all the time. They can't possibly clean everything in the ship. I think the vast majority of people on the Diamond Princess got exposed to coronavirus. When they tested, they tested everyone on the ship, right? Like 20% were positive for coronavirus with RT-PCR, which is the reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction looking for RNA in the posterior pharynx. And we have to have conversations about the sensitivity and specificity of that test. But those aside for now, the majority of people didn't actually show up positive for coronavirus on the ship. Well, that's interesting. And then of the people who were positive, 60% were asymptomatic. So you have this pretty darn good Petri dish, assume 85 plus percent of people got exposed to it, 20% show up positive, 60% of those are asymptomatic. Asymptomatic, these are known positives, RT-PCR, 60% are asymptomatic. And of the 40% who are symptomatic, or I should say of the 20% who got positives, there was a 2% case fatality rate, which is kind of high. But you think that's a, that's a group of people who are kind of low. But that's, mm -hmm. only, that's only a 2% case fatality rate of the people who were positive, not of the whole ship, right? You take the 20%, you multiply it by five, and you say, oh, now you're down to, you know, you're, now you're less than 0.5% case fatality rate if everyone on the ship actually got exposed. So the numbers expand and contract based on what we're doing with the virus exposure. You almost see the exact same pattern on the USS Theodore Roosevelt with one exception, and that's the case fatality rate because you have a much younger population. It's a US, it's an aircraft carrier from the Navy. It's over 5,000 sailors. You imagine the whole ship got exposed. I mean, these are sailors. Like there's these, these, you, you can even make a better case. They're all touching each other and drinking and you know they're in close quarters and they're bunking in the same room. You cannot tell me that the majority of people on the USS Theodore Roosevelt did not come in contact with coronavirus. They're in bunk rooms for God's sake, right? They're yeah, definitely I, sharing. I was on the USS Nassau, I think back in 2010 or 2011 off the coast of Djibouti in Africa. And there was a thousand Navy and a thousand Marine on the same ship. And in the sleeping quarters, they had like a one inch thick mat. And I have, I mean, I have always had respect for the men and women in armed forces, but like, I was like, fuck, this is, this takes it to a new level. Like on a two inch jujitsu mat 
on floor level, that's one bed. Then like two feet above it, another. And there was four beds in this super, like I had, it was fucking, I mean, no ceiling, no overhead space at all. It was so thin. I slid into one of the beds. You pick the side, the majority of people, when they go to bed, they pick the side that they're going to sleep on up or down because you don't get to transition unless you get out of bed. That's how tight it is in there. Right? Yeah. Like that just, just paint a picture of what that looks like yeah, for people that have sardines. never been on a ship like that. It's yeah. sardines, literal sardines. Mm -hmm. There's no way that those sailors did not all get exposed to coronavirus.